This is why I don't go coral shopping anymore. I went in for one gun. Oh. Feel like a kid again, like summer nights that never end. I feel like I'm 21, so easily falling in love. I open my, open my heart, and I feel brand. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a spur of the moment coral haul. This was not supposed to happen like at all. This was literally supposed to be a little snippet to a video that I put in somewhere else because I wanted to go pick up one piece of coral, literally one frag, and then this happened. One of the local vendors that I usually get coral from finally got in a super bright green Ghani. This is the Ghani that I've been looking for for ever now and it's like the green one and the pink one those are the two that i want finally got the green one it is a bit of a drive but it's worth it because i've been looking for this guy everywhere game time this is why i don't go coral shopping anymore i went in for one ghani literally one frag and you guys cannot see what's in here but there is probably 10 frags in here all i wanted was one green ghani that's it and this is where we ended up can't take us reefers anywhere i guess all right so i don't even know how many corals we ended up leaving with where is it gonna go no idea no idea at all buckets on buckets on buckets literally there's one, two, three, four in there five six seven so i think i got like eight frags crazy awesome stuff that i got and I'm super pumped about it. We're putting stuff into the main tank and we're putting stuff into the nano tank. Let's get this guy. Hammer in there and a little acro piece. What do we got in this mystery box? Oh my goodness, there's one, two, three, five in there. Five corals in there. I mean, we're, we're, we're going straight full haul here. These are some good freaking containers. Just a one little Zoa in there, one Zoa guy. What do we got in the last one? Beautiful green Ghani, literally the only coral that I went for and I ended up with all of this. So yeah, here we are. I need to go order another frag rack ASAP. I, I don't know, I need more space on the sand bed. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out for me here, but we will figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. We are having a multitask here because, you know, I don't know if this is gonna be too big. Oh, it's literally perfect. Oh my goodness, look at that green. Not even glasses on, look how bright it is. I cannot wait to put that in this tank. I was not planning to do this at this, this, this hour of the day. This is like almost my bedtime, okay? Like I go to bed at eight o'clock, I'm sleepy. Anyways, I already mixed a little bit of water from this tank into that water to kind of get it going a little bit. We'll give it a dip before we put it in finally but at least this way it's kind of acclimating already. I am super pumped about this hammer. I have been looking for a gold hammer, gold peachy hammer for a while now, and that's the guy. Plus, we tried our hand at a little bit more of an expensive acro. Excited about that too. And we got everybody floating. Oh, look at that little gold baby. So while those are chilling, we are gonna get our station set up over here. Our ch -ch 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 -ch, our station, right? We already got the water that we're gonna put them in. That's mostly their water with a little bit of my tank water, uh, you know, just to get it a little mixy mixy. And then these two are gonna be both of our, you know, our clean water. So that way when they dip, they dip, they dip. They only dip in this bucket and then they rinse and rinse and then they're into the tank. We're gonna be going with the uh, good old Coral RX dip. This is what I use when I dip my corals. Oh crap, I'm expired. That's not good. Whoop, whoop. Smells like Coral RX. Don't forget to check out the new merch, Reef Tank 5 shirts available in indigo and black for women and men on shoplata.com. Link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to the notifications. I've got new fish videos every single week. You can see a little bit of the gold on the hammer and I'm super pumped about it. Hammer for sure is getting stuck back there. I know those two are, are situated. Whoop. Start. And keep this moving. Be ready for the extraction. I'm also gonna end up cutting the plug because the uh, sand bed over there is really small, so a whole plug will not fit there. Boom! All right. And into the fresh one we go. So that's just gonna get most of it off, and then we're gonna just whoop, drop it into the last one. Boom, 
Gani is ready to go into the nano. Look how bright it is, man. It looks so good. And the reason I'm using these here is because the water level is so high that my hand would literally raise it all the way up. So. That might actually look pretty good there. I'll come check on you in a few minutes. I think we're gonna go for the hammer and the acro next since I know where those are going. Boom, start the timer. And move, move, move. I was gonna place this acro, but I think I'm just gonna put it on the frag rack for now. This guy's definitely getting placed in the corner. So far, no crazy bugs coming off, just a little bit of dirt, which is always good. No, all the way to the fucking bottom. There we go. The hammer is on a disc, which is good because that makes it easy to glue down. I'm gonna probably end up cutting that plug, but for right now it's stuck. I don't wanna keep irritating it. So I kind of just left them alone. Um, maybe in a couple days, once it opens up and, and everything is good, then I'll take it off of there because the glue's not holding too sturdy anyway. Slowly but surely, we are knocking these out. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is a bunch of polyps on there. You see these little three right here? It's kind of hard to see them, but they are like on a clean little piece of there. So I will cut that off and stick it to another plug so I can make my money back off of this piece when it grows out a little bit better. Those two right there on the edge is what I'm just gonna chop off and glue. Literally worked out perfectly. Down to the last one, but this one is stopped. We got like five or six pieces in here. Super stoked about that guy. I think he called it a, a green crush mushroom. It looks super dope. I don't even remember what Zoas I got, to be honest. And all the homies are successfully in the tank. We got two pieces over here. I don't know what they are. They're completely closed. This guy, you can see, this is the mushroom. That mushroom is so dope. I might have to move it to a little bit more light, but we'll see, because he's super cool. The hammer has started to open up back there a little bit, which is good. It's chilling in that spot. It looks like it's got a little bit of flow, but not too, too much. Then we got two polyps here. These are the purple purple monsters. They're like halfway open already. Not sure what these are. And then up here, I have the acro on the rack here. They're doing good. It is pretty late, so the lights are already going down, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do like a full on open today. So what we'll do is we'll let them get settled in, spend the night, relax a little bit, unwind, drink a little salt water from my tank, and then we'll check in with them tomorrow and hopefully they'll be all opened up, beautiful, and we can take a good look at all the pieces of coral that I got. Literally went for one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Somehow everything managed to fit nicely in here and it's starting to open up little by little. Still not fully extended, but he's little by little getting up there. And I could see the, the tips of the flowers moving just a little bit. It might not be enough flow. I don't know, I'm gonna let it settle in and then maybe I'll move it up onto the rock work. If you guys are a Ghani, I don't even know what the word is, but experienced with Ghani placement, where on this rock work do you think the Ghanis would do good? I was thinking maybe like up here somewhere or like on this corner or this corner, um, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep him there for a little bit longer, see how he likes it, and then maybe we'll move him around if, if he doesn't grow. First off, finally you can see we got a little Euphelia garden started over there. It's not a garden yet, but it is the start to a garden, and we have a beautiful gold hammer to start that off. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be taking it off of that big old disc. That corner was missing something, and now We've, uh, we've made the first step to start getting it somewhere. So definitely really pumped about that gold hammer. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it does over there. All right, so moving right along. So these right here are fire cloves. Weren't my first choice, but I went to pick up the coral with my mom and she really wanted them. Tank is in her house, so you know, I was like, all right, mom, I'll get them for you. We'll just put them off to the side. They cannot go on the main rock work. I don't want them to take over everything. So picked up some fire cloves. They're super cool looking. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm cautious of where I put them and make sure that they don't spread like GSP. These definitely took a little bit longer to start opening up. Um, 
but so far they keep getting more and more open so hopefully they're just settling in there and they'll be good to go uh, I might move them, might not, but for right now, I'm gonna let them do their thing. Right here, we got some blow pops. Might just do like a disc on the bottom and just do like little, I don't know, little Zoa Islands on the bottom. I'm not sure yet, but. Then on this rock here, we have probably my favorite piece, the green crush mushroom. It's not looking too hot right now because it fell upside down in the sand bed, so it was definitely looking better earlier, but the mushroom itself is super dope. Um, I don't know if this is like a more high-end mushroom. I feel like it looks like it could be, but maybe it's not. He is definitely one of my favorite pieces from this coral haul. I think that's all I put on this side. And then over on this side, we got a Yuma, maybe. A little poop poop. Cool little bubbles on it. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that guy either yet. Over here, we have on the right side, um, Pacifica. Zoas. They got a really bright green center with some blue. Um, also a super loaded frag, so that would be really cool on a disc somewhere, maybe next to, um, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, gotta put some stuff on some discs. And then my favorite Zoas from the pack are definitely the purple monsters right there. I've been on the hunt for those or pink diamonds for a while now. I think the pink diamonds are similar but they're just way more expensive and these purple monsters look pretty dope so glad i was able to pick those up and these are actually the ones that we were able to snip the extra frag from so i could make some money back our final piece from the haul is this acro at the edge of my frag rack right here it is the reef's raft reef raft bleeding avengers I don't know. It's not looking too hot right now. Hopefully it settles in. I don't I don't know if, you know, maybe I dipped too long, too strong. I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully it will start getting its color back and, uh, and, and survive because once they grow out, they look pretty freaking dope. You can kind of see, like, it's got color on the bottom and the top, but then the middle is kind of, like, dudded out a little bit. It still has the little, the little feeder polyps on there but it's just kind of brown. So I'm not sure, maybe it's just still adapting. You know, my temperatures usually run hot. I, I don't know, we'll just give it some time and hopefully it, it comes around and and starts to, starts to grow out. I was also trying to figure out where I wanted to put that acro because, you know, obviously acro's more strong light, stuff like that. So I'm looking top half of the tank. Don't want to put it over here where the Euphelia uh, garden's gonna go. I already got that guy there that corner is pretty stocked so i was thinking of two spots i could either do like i don't really care for this green spongalus um i mean it's nice and bright but it stings stuff it's a very it's like a, a much lower end coral so i i rather sell it off and put something really bright and sick there so i could either put it right here like just cut that back and put it right here or I was also thinking, I just got this thought this morning, is that I could leave my blue-green uh, acro that I have here on the back end and kind of cut off this front end of it so that way I could place it right on that rock, like right there, and then it would have the two, like, it, it would almost be like a, I could make that like a little acro garden, which I think that would be a dope plan. So I think yeah i don't know i think a little acro garden would be sick this plating sponge is also growing to the back wall so that would kind of free up the rest of this rock down here and then we just have a little sick acro garden i'll have to get you know one or two more to make the colors mix like that one's blue green i think that one looks green now but the mother colony kind of looked red so like a red yellow i don't know when that change happens or i don't know but if it is then obviously we'll want to switch up our colors a little bit but yeah, a little acro garden I think would be sick. That is what we call one great last minute coral haul. I'm super excited to see how these pieces grow and adapt in my tank. I will keep you guys updated. Don't forget, September 24th in Miami, Florida is Skelly Fest, the Ultimate Aquatic Expo. We have some awesome vendors coming, so you guys are gonna wanna be here for it. Tickets are on sale right now, skellyfest.com. Only $12, they will increase as the event gets closer, so get your tickets now. Also, check out the merch, Reef Tank Vibe shirts, available now, shoplata.com. 
gmail.com. Hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays now. So make sure you guys are watching so I can keep putting out some content. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.